Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. What do you know about Dr. Decker's paper spike? I didn't notice Dr. Decker had a paper spike. I haven't really seen more than a foot in front of me since Hannah died. Hmm. It's understandable, but I still don't know if you're telling me the truth. What about Henley Church? No, sorry. Okay. Well then, hello. I burned Hannah's rocking chair. The day moved forward. It was a good choice. I'm not sure I've got much left of hers now. I've burnt most of it, or given it away, just to make the days move forward. There was a moment when I was attacking a Salvation Army bin, but I gave in. What do you mean... What do you mean, attacking a Salvation Army bin? I accidentally put Hannah's diary into a Salvation Army donation bin. Okay. They're like huge post boxes with a circular tray that makes sure things spill to the bottom. I tried to get in to get it back, but I gave up. What good would a would the Salvation Army have for her diary? Assume I mean, supposedly she'd written in it already. Her diary? I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary a while ago. I must have accidentally dropped in some clothes for the Salvation Army bin. Okay. It's funny, because I wasn't going to read it. She said she'd fallen out of love with me. Oh. That she was going to break off the engagement. That she didn't love me anymore. I regretted it. I'm sorry, Nathan. She said she'd fallen out of love with you. That's not really relevant. Isn't it? I'm sorry, Nathan. Sorry, drawing a blank. Me too. Why did you read it when you said you weren't going to? You've asked me that already. No. Wait, maybe that was yesterday. I don't know, anyway. Why did you read her diary? Okay. I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary a while ago. I must have accidentally dropped in some clothes for the Salvation Army bin. It's funny, because I wasn't going to read it. She said she'd fallen out of love with me. That she was going to break off the engagement. That she didn't love me anymore. I regretted it. You regretted it? I regretted that I mourned for Hannah so long. I regret the grief. I regret all the days I slept through because of it. Had I known she didn't love me anymore, things would have been different. I, I'm a bit angry now. If I had that day over again, I, I may just still pull out in front of the driver. Hmm. I don't know about that. Thinking with your emotions... I mean, I understand how you feel, but maybe after a bit you won't feel quite so strongly about it. There's still more under her diary, though. I read the last few weeks of Hannah's diary a while ago. I must have accidentally dropped in some clothes for the Salvation Army bin. It's funny, because I wasn't going to read it. She said she'd fallen out of love with me. That she was going to break off the engagement. She was going to break off the engagement? Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? And um, thanks for the dating advice, by the way. Okay. Dating advice? Uh. I signed up for a dating website. It's a bit easy, to be honest. Okay. If I message something they don't like, I change it on the debut place. <laughs> it's not very honest. No, but I guess you use what you have at your disposal. But you have to do it over and over again until you're sure the day's going to move on. I mean, we did tell him to try to get out and meet other people. A dating website. 
You change it when the day replays. That doesn't mean anything to me. Maybe we're supposed to say no, it's not honest? If I'm being honest, I'd probably rather ask out one of the patients I've seen here. Oh, don't do that. The, the friendly redhead with the accent. No. Nope, you shouldn't do that. She's a siren. All right, that cleaned all of that out. Do you mean Mariana? No, I don't know about that. Okay, uh, kind of exhausted all of these things. Maybe we should just ask about Dr. Decker again. I've told you all I know about Dr. Decker. He started out good, then turned a bit crazy towards the end. When you start giving people more problems as a therapist, that's a bit crazy. Agreed. There's more there. More problems. I started out with depression. Now I seem to repeat days. Even if you don't believe the repeat days, then I clearly have extra mental health problems that he's given me. Again, I would agree with that. He got a bit crazy? I don't know anything about that. I've told you all I know about Dr. Decker. He started out good, then turned a bit crazy towards the end. When you start giving people more problems as a therapist, that's a bit crazy. He turned a bit crazy toward the end? I'm not trying to hide anything. I just don't know. He started out fine? I've got nothing to tell you. He started out good? No, I don't know about that. All right. You tell me all you know about Dr. Decker? Tell me more about your loop days. Sorry, drawing a blank. All right, game, I give. Why does he think Dr. Decker was crazy? Shouldn't that just be me asking? He turned out, he turned a bit crazy towards the end. Shouldn't this be me saying, you know, he was a bit crazy? What do you think? Never mind. Fine. Why do you think Decker was crazy? I think they possibly cursed other people. A bit like he cursed me. Sometimes you could see he was bursting to tell me about it, but he couldn't. He was ecstatic with power. He was ecstatic with power? That doesn't mean anything. Okay, uh, how about... He cursed people. Ah, oh, a curse. Well, remembered. I was hoping you'd forget. You just said it. It's gonna sound crazy. Dr. Decker said I would never be able to move forward until I came to terms with my grief. And so from this point on, I start to relive the same day over and over again until I made something of it. I believed him. You believed him? I didn't want to believe him. I remember I said, you can't just say things and they happen. He laughed and laughed. I think he was going mad. He said he'd give me a demonstration. A demonstration? He held his hand outstretched and told me to look at the flame. There was no flame, and then there was. He was holding a flame in his hand that had come out of nowhere. And he tried to hypnotize me to make me forget it. Uh, that didn't work, I assume. A flame? I didn't forget seeing the flame. He wanted me to forget it, to forget it all, but I didn't. For whatever reason, he couldn't undo what he'd done. I was scared. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. All right, we're getting somewhere now. He hypnotized you? I'm not trying to hide anything. I just don't know. Did I misspell that one? No, that's correct. The hypnosis didn't work? To make you forget it. He'd become bored of me, so I got much of my insight from calls or messages he'd take during our sessions. I think because he hypnotized me, he didn't want to play with me anymore. So I got basic therapist. And that's probably for the best. Uh, you got basic therapist? 
He told me lots of people get depression. To become more active, see more people. And although he wouldn't always be there to listen, Jaya would be. Jaya? Yeah, I talk to her quite a lot. I'm not sure how many days of that she'd remember. She seemed to care, which is more I can say for Decker. Interesting. What is the deal with Jaya? Yeah, we should ask her. Don't, yeah, she is on our patients list. Uh, let's do that. Nathan says he talked to you a lot, Jaya. I didn't really speak to Nathan that much at all, but I have this strange feeling that I know him really well. Mm -hmm. I can't quite put my finger on it. Not really sure how much more I should pursue with her. Still double asterisks on a flame. I didn't forget seeing the flame. He wanted me to forget it, to forget it all, but I didn't. For whatever reason, he couldn't undo what he'd done. He couldn't undo what he'd done, you say? No, sorry. He wanted you to forget it. Why did he want you to forget it? Calls you calls that he would take during your sessions? I've got nothing to tell you. Huh. One more time. I didn't forget seeing the flame. He wanted me to forget it, to forget it all, but I didn't. For whatever reason, he couldn't undo what he'd done. I was scared. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. Okay, there's a couple of things in there that I've made note of. Forget it all? Alright. You were scared? I was scared what Dr. Decker would do to me if he found out I still knew. So I had to play along. Keep coming to the sessions. Pretend I hadn't seen what he'd done. It was awful because I was suffering through the same days over and over again, but I couldn't talk to him about it, because he'd know. Woo! All right. Well, we are getting somewhere where that somewhere is, I have no idea, except it is insane. Hello. You can stop looking at me like that. You've made me do this. What? I don't try and escape. You're all tied up. What? Now tell me the truth. Is this a dream? What the fuck, Jaya? Uh, no. This is not a dream. I think you've drugged me. <sighs> oh! That's the wrong answer, Doctor. This is most definitely a dream. Now, tell me, do you believe that people can have kinetic powers? What are you, Jaya? Yes, I do believe they can have kinetic powers. And how do we treat people with kinetic powers? Do we encourage them or do we dis? Them. Okay, so now our little conversation from before where she said we should make them go away is coming back. Now it's being not so subtle. So do we tell her what she wants to hear or are we defiant? Well, I am just contrarian enough to be belligerent. We should encourage them. Oh, Doctor. How disappointing. We've been through this already. Encouraging them to use their power just makes them worse. That's what Dr. Decker did. Look at him now. I thought you were different. Oh, I thought we'd get on. But I'm wrong. Enjoy your sleep, Doctor. Who are you, Jaya? Who are you? What is... I think that says it all. There's someone else in my hour. I brought David back to life. I removed the chains, dressed her. It was Iris. We could try shifting now. Would you like to see David, Doctor? 
sorry. We both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and that broke. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are grateful if you could see your way to declaring me insane, or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame. And then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. You may just still pull out in front of the driver. Dreams. Morning, Doctor. You're looking a bit unwell. I wonder Are they why. Getting you all wound up. Well, have a look at this. I found it in Dropbox. Apparently, Dr. Decker lent Mariana some money. It sounds dodgy, doesn't it? It does. I also got the toxicology report back from Officer Yates, and shocker, Dr. Decker had. Sorry. You just have to read it. I should have spoiler alert tattooed on my forehead. And can we not do the grief counselling thing today? I'm all sorts of behind on work and I'm getting more stressed out watching it all pile up. If you need anything though, I'm here. Right. Oop. What? Yeah, what dream was that? Jaya thinks I should tell all the patients I can stop their problems. Perhaps I should avoid her till later. Perhaps. Perhaps. Or. Perhaps. Maybe we should confront her. What the hell did you do to me? It must be frustrating. Always asking and getting nowhere. Are you... Frustrated, Doctor. I don't think I like you anymore, Jaya. You're getting closer all the time, but you're still not asking the right questions. Did you drug me last night? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. I'm just kidding. I don't know. are you? Sorry, I can't answer that. What are you? No, sorry. Just what exactly is your job here? I don't know, Doctor. Do you? I absolutely don't. That's why I'm asking. Alright, forget it. Forget it. Let's look at our new clues, shall we? Toxicology report. Okay, this is for Dr. Decker. Positive for ethanol, which is alcohol. And positive for benzodiazepines, temazepam. Alrighty then. Those are not a good combination of things to have in your bloodstream at the same time. Loan agreement. 15,000 pounds, eh? One pound arrangement fee, interest none, for 36 months. By signing this agreement, the borrower agrees to accept the sum of the loan amount and to repay the loan amount in full within the terms stated. The sum of the loan will be transferred by the lender into an account designated by the borrower within 14 days of signing the agreement. It is agreed that the loan shall attract no interest, and in lieu of accruing interest, the lender has agreed to the payment of the arrangement fee, which is due before transfer of the loan amount. The lender also agrees to consider the loan repaid in full should they die, or become subject to any power of attorney agreement, as long as this event occurs within the term of the ingredient. Within the term of the agreement. Signed, Mariana. Well, I think we should probably speak with her first. Though I usually go down the... Oh, I didn't even notice this. Glenn and Scarlet. Two more new patients. Though we've heard of Scarlet before. She's one of the people that Mariana said was dating Dr. Decker. Hello, Glenn. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm Glenn. <laughs> I didn't expect to be here. I was looking for the men's room. 
Right. Well, uh, I'll let you get back to it. Hello? Scarlet. I haven't been in since he died. Since Dr. Decker died. Uh, even though I've made a habit of not pursuing this, I just have to ask. Were you dating Dr. Decker? I think you just broke my brain. Did you date Decker? I think you just broke my brain. All right, so we're not going to get anywhere with her then. Hello, Mariana. I feel thirsty, Doctor. And hot. Do you have any water? I don't think water's going to help the kind of thirst you have, Mariana. Tell me about the loan. He lent me some money to start my business. It was a proper agreement. I remember signing things. He thought that a distraction would do me good. I don't think he expected me to trawl the beach for treasure and sell it online. You remember signing things? Not exactly what you signed? I, I looked at the contract. There was no interest on the loan. Okay. What did you sign? He wanted a clause in our loan agreement that said I didn't have to pay him in the event that he died. He wasn't expecting to die, he was just concerned my anxiety would get worse, wondering what it would mean if he did. Might as well just come right out and ask it. Did you kill him? Why are you asking me that? Okay. The positions you get into, lady, on that couch. Fifteen... Fifteen thousand pounds. No. He said you needed a distraction. Dr. Decker thought I had too much time on my hands. So, a distraction would do me good. He lent me 15000 all in all. How much money do you still have? I don't know. Well, you probably should know. Keep better track of such things. I feel thirsty, Doctor. And hot. Do you have any water? You feel hot? I've been drinking a lot of water recently. I didn't go to the beach. I didn't go to the sea. I said I would, but I didn't. I've been feeling this way for a while. It's like it's getting worse because I didn't go to the sea. It's like I'm having... Like you're having withdrawals? Nope. Withdrawal? That's not something I know anything about. It sounds like you are a siren after all. I have this recurring dream. I'm at the beach. I strip and walk into the sea. The sea feels warm and comforting. Not cold and harsh like you'd think. I swim down to the bottom of the ocean. I can breathe freely. I can breathe water. On the ocean floor ahead of me, there is a beautiful creature, a glowing being with wispy limbs. It's so warm. I'm transfixed. But my feet shift. I'm unsteady. Below me, the floor is woven in human flesh. Dead bodies, but some of them still struggling for life. These are the ones touching me, gripping my feet. I scream. That's when I wake up. Do you have that dream, Doctor? 
Uh, no. I do not have that dream. It's horrific and beautiful at the same time. Right. Um, before I forget it, let's ask about Tamazapam. I don't take sleeping pills. Never have done. When you suffer blackouts already, you don't really get offered anything like that. Okay, good to know. So she didn't have easy access to Tamazepam to drug the doctor. That's assuming he wasn't taking it himself. All right, I wrote down a bunch of stuff on her uh, dream there. Let's just go down the list. You strip? That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. It's comforting? I know nothing. Breathe water? A beautiful creature? It's a dream, Doctor. Stranger things happen in dreams. I'm not sure yours actually is completely a dream. Huh. Though it did get rid of an asterisk there. You're transfixed? Ask me something else. How about human flesh? How's that for a question? I do nothing. People follow me. I don't ask them to. Uh Uh-huh. Well, that got rid of all of the asterisks on that. So I guess I was suggesting that the human flesh in her dream is related to the people following her? I'm still going to ask the last thing I've got written down. Gripping your feet? Don't know. Huh. I've been drinking a lot of water recently. I didn't go to the beach. I didn't go to the sea. I said I would, but I didn't. I've been feeling this way for a while. It's like... It's getting worse because I didn't go to the sea. It's like I'm having... It's like you are having what? I don't feel well. I feel sick most of the time. Dizzy. Thirsty. I got a head fog like you wouldn't believe. My doctor, Dr. Rose, sent me for blood tests. Dr. Rose? Dr. Rose thinks maybe I have a vitamin deficiency. I can tell she has no idea. She smiles, but she hasn't got any answers. I think I probably need to go back to the beach. The sea, doctor. It's calling me. How is it calling you? This sounds crazy, but I can hear the sea. It's like an alarm going off in my head. Do you know where the sea is? From here? It's over there. Wherever I am, I know exactly where the sea is. It's like a compass. Well, it's actually in other directions, too, because, you know, the sea is... Most of this planet. Okay. An alarm in your head? I hear a sound like singing, calling me. It gets stronger when I face it, when I move towards it. That's how I know where the sea is. But when I don't go to the sea, I feel like the sound gets louder all the time. I'm having trouble sleeping. Perhaps I need sleeping tablets after all. So it's like a compass? I know where the sea is. 
wherever I am. I'm an Aquarius. Maybe this is a water bearer thing. No, it's a siren thing. It's absolutely freaking lootly a siren thing. Okay. Well, the only asterisks left are on the loan things. Did you pay Dr. Decker back? Why are you asking me that? See, the evidence said that he had ethanol in his bloodstream. Did you ever see Decker drink? I've seen Dr. Decker drink, but not that much. Certainly not during our sessions. He had other things on his mind, I'm sure. There's no asterisks there, but other things on his mind? I know nothing. Maybe ask about her anxiety. Yeah, I'm anxious about being ill. I mean, I know she said he thought that she should have a distraction. That really doesn't explain to me why he decided to loan her 15,000 pounds. And I misspelled Decker. Let's fix that. Huh. Still something in that, though it's not a double asterisk. Tell me about the sea. I don't know. Will you go back to the beach? How about dancing? No. There's been no dancing. I haven't been feeling that well, Doctor. Well, have you kissed anyone lately? That's not something I know anything about. Kissing guys? Don't know. Has anyone followed you? Do you forget anything from our sessions, Doctor? People follow me to the beach. I don't know who they are. And I don't know what happens to them. I don't always get followed, though, so it doesn't explain my blackouts. Well, maybe they're not dependent on each other. Maybe you black out regardless. Do you think they die? That doesn't mean anything to me. Hey, there is more in that. Do you forget anything from our sessions, Doctor? People follow me to the beach. I don't know who they are, and I don't know what happens to them. I don't always get followed, though, so it doesn't explain my blackouts. I mean, she gives us information in there. I'm just not sure what to ask about. Maybe... How many people have followed you? Oh, there's a note. Let me ask this, though. What do you think happens to them? I said I don't know what happens to them. It's not always to the beach. Sometimes they follow me home. Right, but what do you think happens to them? That cleared that, and now it's here. Anyway. Yeah, what happens to the people who follow Mariana? Well, didn't even really need to look at that then, did I? Where else do they follow you? Home? My home is in Chantry. You know that. You rang my doorbell last night. No, I didn't. I did not ring your doorbell, crazy lady. If you say so, it must have been your twin then. My twin? I don't know if I have a twin. Do you have a twin, Doctor? No, I don't have a twin, to the best of my knowledge. I know you don't. It was definitely you, wearing what you're wearing now. I do not remember coming to your house. My home is in Chantry. Maybe Chantry. Nope. Last night? No. Did you answer your door? I don't know. What happened last night? Ask me something else. Did you open your door? No. Nope. Um, I think that was a no as to she's not answering the question and not a no as to she didn't open the door. Uh, hint please. 
Why were you at Mariana's house? How would she know that? Why was I at your house? I don't know. I didn't kiss you, but you just followed me like the others. Are you sure you didn't kiss I me? I don't feel comfortable here, Doctor. I'd like to leave. I'm very sorry you don't feel comfortable. Why are you asking me that? All right, fair enough. Great. Day tripper. The only thing with any asterisks at all is the loan. He lent me some money to start my business. It was a proper agreement. I remember signing things. He thought that a distraction would do me good. I don't think he expected me to trawl the beach for treasure and sell it online. A proper agreement? That's not something I know anything about. Trawl the beach? I don't even know if we need to go into that anymore. I don't think so, given what the game said about asterisks. Maybe we need to ask about a beautiful creature. Alright, I guess we already did. Things are kind of running together. Maybe we should go away from Mariana and talk to someone else for a bit. Who, though? I guess Bryce. Hello, Bryce. I'm fine. I'm worried. My pursuer in the hour, he's definitely military. I've developed a new skill to deal with him. Have you now? Um, first, though, I guess I should have done this before I said hello. Could you tell me about, uh, Tamazepam? My other doctor had prescribed me sleeping pills before I came to see Dr. Decker. I think they were called Tamazepam. I never took them. So, one could say you had them left. Did you ever see Dr. Decker drink? I never saw Dr. Decker touch a drop. Doesn't mean it wasn't going on behind closed doors, though, does it? No, it doesn't. Alright. Let's go ahead and follow up on Hello. What new skill? Last night, I saw him draw something from his jacket. He was approaching me, grinning. I had nowhere to go. So I closed my eyes and imagined. Well, I imagined being back home. And when I opened them again, I was. I'd teleported. Interesting. Funny though, you said he was hooded before. Did you see his face? I don't know anything about that. Grinning? Your questions seem to be getting more and more irrelevant. Right. You teleported. I was as surprised as you are. I just imagined I was somewhere else, and there I was. Perhaps Dr. Decker was right. Think of something, and it becomes real. If... You believe in it. But I'll only do it wisely. Imagine the mistakes you might make. Yes. I don't want to become one with the igneous layer too soon. Yeah, teleporting into magma or even solid rock or solid material of any kind would probably be horrible. Should we tell these people we can stop their powers? Would people like Bryce even want to stop his power. See, I'm not sure if Jaya or Jaya is on our side. Or which side is the right side. Can help you stop your powers. No, Doctor. No, you can't. I've seen what you can do. You can listen and ask, but you don't have any real power. That didn't go very well, did it? Military? My pursuer. He's measured in his approach, watching, testing. When he finally came for me, I wasn't ready. I think he underestimated me, though, and that allowed me to escape. He didn't think I'd be able to just 
leave. Why do you think he's coming after me, Doctor? Oh, I think I might know. I'm very interested. You might know. I have nothing to tell you about that. Why is he coming after you? I think he's death, Doctor. I think I saved that old woman from burning to death in bed, and now he's coming after me to even the score. Do you think it could be death? Well, d death is not military as far as I know. No, I don't think it's death. It's just me. I'm going crazy. Yes. I'm so strange. Everything about me is strange already, but to have another presence in my hour, it's unhinged me. Decker was right? No, don't know. If you believe in it? No. You'll only use it wisely. I don't intend to imagine things at all. I only did it this time to avoid being killed. That pursuer is definitely onto me. I say he, but I couldn't see his face. It just had the build and size of a man. It felt like it was sucking the oxygen out of the air in front of me. If you couldn't see his face, how did you know that he was grinning? Sorry, no. Face grinning? No, sorry. All right, that's a bit of a plot hole there. Maybe you just assumed the grin? I don't intend to imagine things at all. I only did it this time to avoid being killed. That pursuer is definitely onto me. I say he, but I couldn't see his face. It just had the build and size of a man. It felt like it was sucking the oxygen out of the air in front of me. Felt like it was su sucking the oxygen out of the air, did it? I found it difficult breathing the closer he got to me. I suppose that's just fight or flight, an anxiety response. Um, I'm not sure it is. I don't think it is anxiety. Mm, no. Anxiety? Yes, I'm anxious. I think someone is trying to kill me. All right, still back to you teleported. I was as surprised as you are. I just imagined I was somewhere else, and there I was. Perhaps Dr. Decker was right. Think of something, and it becomes real. Let's try... think of something and it becomes real? Ask me something else. Maybe just Decker. I don't know. Who do you think is trying to kill you? No. Alright, let's ask about some things from previous sessions. Jessica? I saw Jessica across the street this morning. She waved, but I just crumbled. Ever since I took those photos, I haven't been able to face her. Do you think I should tell her about the photos, Doctor? Ooh. I think you should destroy the photos. No, don't know. Yes, you should tell her about the photos. Yes, yes, you're right. I should tell her what I've done. Or at least let her have the photos. I don't think she's going to be very pleased. But I should be honest. Okay. Jeez Louise. Iris? I have nothing to tell you about that. Claire? I don't know anything about that. David? I don't know. Henley Church? Work is fine. If anything, I've been falling behind again. I think it's the stress of not being alone in the midnight hour anymore. 
Okay. Stress, you say? Sorry. No. Work is falling behind. Not being alone? Your questions seem to be... Not being alone in the midnight hour anymore? I stole a painting. There, I've said it. What? It was from the local gallery, Providence. I really like it, but I can't afford it. So I took it. Uh-huh. I don't know how that connected together. Guess your guilt just overrode you and you blurted it out? You need to return the painting. It's a painting of a spider in a large web on the pendulum of a grandfather clock that's stuck at quarter past three. A spider? The spider from the painting. I'd like to think it was me. Like, I was lying in wait and spinning some elaborate trap in my midnight hour. It's more likely that I'm just the fly. Maybe so. I stole a painting. There, I've said it. It was from the local gallery, Providence. I really like it, but I can't afford it. So I took it. Thought you weren't going to steal anymore. It's just that one thing, just the painting I've stolen recently. I think my new pursuer is unraveling me. Is it okay to steal things, Doctor? If I really like them. No. It's not okay. I thought you'd say that. I will do my best to refrain from it. But I can't promise anything. Okay, I didn't think we were close to getting him wrapped up, but we certainly did. Still Mariana's hanging this time though, isn't she?